Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Deciphering My Experience. My name is Eric, and boy, do I have some amazing information to share with you folks today. Um, there's been a lot going on um, behind closed doors, and a lot of folks are just not really paying that much attention, but I have a doozy for you that uh, I'm going to share, and uh, hopefully everybody will uh, will share it as well. You know, I'm putting together these archives uh, of facts so that not only do you have ease of access for me to share it to you, but it's easy for you to share with everybody else out there. So please, folks, um, share this information far and wide because this is the truth that everybody needs to know. Everybody says, you know, if, if somebody knew this was going on, somebody would say something. Well, I'm learning what's going on and I'm saying something. So uh, while we're on the topic, sharing stuff, uh, please subscribe, like, and comment as well to get this information and this network uh, a strong foundation and foothold because that's the way the truth has to work nowadays. The mass media has failed. Uh, we see what's going on in the world around us. So please give support to this channel. I really appreciate it. PayPal, Patreon, liking, sharing, subscribing, whatever you can do. Go to the uh, website, deciphering.tv, and subscribe there. Follow along so you don't get lost in the mix in case I get wiped out off of YouTube or Facebook. That's just the way of the world right now. So if you like what's going on here, please show some support. And any other folks out there that you're following, please make sure that you give them some love as well so that these avenues of truth don't disappear in the uh, the battle that we have right now uh, for the mind of the people of the planet. This is what's going on, so we need to stay in the fight. So choose your frontline folks and give them support. But in regards to today's topic, this one is a doozy. It was sent in by a decipherer out there. I believe her name was Diane, if I remember correctly. So thank you very much, Diane. I appreciate it. Uh, I tried shooting you an email, but it wasn't working. So I apologize. I couldn't respond. But thank you very much for getting this info in my direction. It is appreciated. The Directed Energy Threat Emergency Response Act is a very big deal. And I recommend that everybody uh, takes a look at this. I'm not going to read it in its entirety. It's 17 pages, but as I mentioned before, it is in the archives section at deciphering.tv. So you can uh, take a look for yourself and get all of the nitty gritty details. But I will start from the top end here. It says, a bill to designate an anomalous health incidence interagency coordinator. That's the new term that they like using instead of saying that we're in the middle of a directed energy weapons warfare situation. They're now using the term anomalous health incidents. Nice. To coordinate the interagency investigation of and response to suspected attacks presenting as anomalous health incidents and for other purposes. Be it enacted by the Senate and House of Representatives of the United States of America in Congress assembled. This act may be cited as the Directed Energy Threat Emergency Response Act. There you go, folks. Right there in quotes. That's what we're dealing with. That's what I've been trying to convince folks is going on down at the South Pole Station and elsewhere on the planet that it's through my experience and the documents that I'm providing that show there's much more going on in the world around you than is being presented by the mainstream media. Section two, findings, sense of Congress. Findings, Congress finds the following. One, since at least 2016, United States government personnel and their family members have reported anomalous health incidents at diplomatic missions across the world and in the United States, which are sometimes referred to as Havana Syndrome. Some of the anomalous health incidents have resulted in unexplained brain injuries, which have permanent life-altering effects that have disrupted lives and ended careers. I know that this has happened to crew that I was with at South Pole Station, so this has impacted my crew, and I'm aware that this is going on. Three, 
A panel of experts convened by the Bureau of Medical Services of the Department of State in July 2017 to review triage assessments of medically evaluated personnel from the United States Embassy in Havana came to a consensus that the findings were most likely related to neurotrauma from a non-natural source. A 2020 report by the National Academy of Sciences found that many of the distinctive and acute signs, symptoms, and observations reported by affected employees are consistent with the effects of directed pulsed radio frequency RF energy, and that directed pulsed RF energy appears to be the most plausible mechanism in explaining these cases. There you have it, folks. There you have it. There's a confession to reality going on around you. According to the National Academy of Sciences report, such a scenario raises grave concerns about a world with disinhibited malevolent actors and new tools for causing harm to others. There you go. That's what's going on right now is we have grain grave concerns about a world with disinhibited, malevolent actors and new tools for causing harm to others. It's sure convenient that the vast majority of people do not know that these tools exist, but that's why I'm here, folks, to let you know that they do exist. The number and locations of these suspected attacks have expanded, and according to press reporting, there have been more than 130 possible cases that have been reported by United States personnel in Asia, in Europe, and in the Western Hemisphere, including within the United States. That's personal soil attacks, folks. We're at war. The continuing and expanding scope of these suspected attacks is impacting the security and morale of United States personnel especially those posted overseas. I would add, especially those posted at 90 degrees south. The Convention on the Prevention and Punishment of Crimes Against Internationally Protected Persons, including diplomatic agents to which 100 and con 180 countries are a party, protects diplomatic personnel from attacks on their persons, accommodations, or means of transport and requires all state parties to punish and take measures to prevent such grave crimes. It is the sense of Congress that, one, the threat to the United States government personnel from suspected attacks presenting as anomalous health incidents is a matter of urgent concern and deserving of the full attention of government. Two, personnel, dependents, and other appropriate individuals suffering anomalous health incidents from these suspected attacks deserve equitable, accessible, and high-quality medical assessment and care, regardless of their employing government agency. Three, diagnosis and determinations to treat personnel, dependents, and other appropriate individuals experiencing symptoms consistent with such injuries should be made by experienced medical professionals and made by the federal government. 4. Any recriminations, retaliation, or punishment associated with personnel self-reporting symptoms is unacceptable and should be investigated by internal agency oversight mechanisms. Uh, I personally would welcome any investigation to show uh, the recriminations and retaliation and punishment going on in my position because I'm certainly not benefiting from letting everybody know what I have found out that's going on. But that's another story. Five, information sharing and interagency coordination is essential for the comprehensive investigation, attribution, and mitigation of these injuries. Six, the administration should provide Congress and the public with timely and regular unclassified updates on the threat posed to United States government personnel by the suspected causes of these injuries. Seven, Recent efforts by the administration and among relevant agencies represent positive steps toward responding to the threat of anomalous health incidents, but more comprehensive measures must be taken to further assist victims, investigate and determine the cause of the injuries of such victims, and prevent future incidents. 8. Establishing the source and cause of these anomalous health incidents must be a top priority for the United States government and requires the full coordination of relevant agencies. 9. 
if investigations determine that the anomalous health incidents are the result of deliberate acts by individual entities or foreign countries, the United States government should recognize and respond to these incidents as hostile attacks and any actors found to have been targeting United States government personnel should be publicly identified as appropriate and held accountable. Well, folks, I couldn't agree more with that, and I would like uh, an investigation to be had as to what was really going on at the South Pole Station in regards to my crew and the injuries that we received that absolutely seemed to be from RF weaponry. Statement of Policy It is the policy of the United States, one, to detect, deter, and punish any clandestine attacks that cause persistent injuries to United States personnel. Two, to provide appropriate assistance to United States personnel harmed by such attacks. Three, to hold responsible any persons, entities, or governments involved in ordering or carrying out such attacks, including through appropriate sanctions, criminal prosecutions, or other tools. Four, to prioritize research into effective countermeasures to help protect United States personnel from such attacks. And five, to convey to foreign governments through official contact at the highest levels the gravity of United States concern about such suspected attacks and the seriousness of consequences that may follow for any actors to be involved. Well, there you have it, folks. That's uh, effectively the first six pages of this document. Uh, like I mentioned, there are 17 of them. The rest is available in the archives section, but it's a bit more, I guess you would say, just uh, legislative on how they're going to assemble the process and this department, how they're going to allocate funds, which are substantial to the tunes of uh, over $45 million is being discussed uh, in distribution for the problems presented in this act. So everybody, please read this and understand that this is what everybody's been saying for years, that you know a lot of folks are familiar with the targeted individuals and everybody's saying, you know, oh, they hear voices in their head and they're crazy and blah, blah. Well, guess what, folks? The technology is coming out and they're admitting that these types of weapons exist. They're not being specific. They're, they're painting with a broad brush, directed energy weapons, anomalous health incidents. They're being vague because they don't want to be specific. They know exactly what they're doing. And a lot of people that have been running around this planet that have been suffering the impact of this type of weapon and warfare have just, you know, been treated poorly when this stuff is real. Imagine that you know, all of these people, oh, well, all these people, why would they be targeting all of these? They're not targeting all of these people. We call them targeted individuals, but in reality, they're collateral damage. Uh, they're not necessarily the target, but they might be in proximity to the target, so they get the, the effect of being near the person that a weapon like this was targeting. So if you're married to somebody important, if you work near somebody important, if your facility is something important, these types of weapons and this type of warfare is real it is going on and it's something that totally needs to come out of the shadows because human beings are being negatively impacted and as the paperwork states there is a lot of collateral damage this is not just um, pinpoint precision targeting that's going on there's a lot of outliers and they're putting out a call to all of these personnel that have been negatively impacted for them to voice up and say something not because it doesn't exist and you can, you can question the motives of these folks at this point in time as well. I, I wouldn't argue that everybody's motives are questionable at this stage of the game, especially when you're talking about this type of technology and the amount of responsibility that should be involved with it. And when we look around and see the lack thereof, it makes things extremely questionable. So please take a look at this information. Understand that the weapons of war have changed, that the battlefield is now the mind and the ability to uh, mind bend people is present. We have a new, clear, and present danger, and that is in the form of directed energy weapons. 
everybody needs to get educated. We need to do it rapidly. Folks, thank you very much for listening. I really appreciate everybody that is helping me to connect the dots. I've been connecting a lot of the dots behind the scene. I've been having a lot of conversations with folks. There's going to be some good uh, interviews coming up, I guess you would say. I've spoken with uh, Dr. Stephen Greer of the Disclosure Project, and I have uh, been working to schedule to get him on. So he should be on next week. That'll be fantastic. I've also been speaking with uh, Stuart Swerdlow of the Montauk Project from back in the day. He is very versed in the topic. I've been speaking with him and making connections as well. So there's a lot more coming down the pipe, and I hope everybody stays tuned because there are a lot more connections to be made because up until this point, you've been surrounded by lies. So all I have to do is start presenting you guys the truth and the world is going to change right before your very eyes. It's a whole new world and there's a lot of technology coming out that people were not familiar with. So get ready to have your hair blown back. I will do that for you. Get comfortable. The world is changing fast and furiously, folks. Thanks for tuning in and have an excellent day.